Hey everybody, it's Matt with Everwar Auto. Today we're out here with a 2007 Saturn View. We're gonna show you how to replace a window regulator. First thing you're gonna do is take out this little escutcheon, I think they call it. Now I already got it loose because it took two hands. And then you see there's a little bolt right there. Take that bolt out. Next, we've got these two little clips right here. You pull the center out and then they will shake loose if you just shake the whole door panel because the next thing after that is come in with, it's better to have a plastic tool. This is a screwdriver, it's not recommended. Uh, but you come in and you pry off a little bit and then now I came in here with my screwdriver and I pried this out on the door handle and you see it just kind of unclips. And then in there and in there, we've got a couple more 10 mils. Take those out. And now I worked my way around, got all the clips off, got all the screws out, and then I work it up and off. And now we've got uh, we've got a little plug holding in holding our door in. Okay, so you see this door handle right here? I'm opening it right here. I'm gonna come in. Now check it out. On on this guy right here, you've got these two little wings that I have pushed underneath the plastic of the housing, the door house, the door handle housing. I used the screwdriver to push up on this one and down on this one. Although it'd be better to just have some needle nose and and you know go in there and squeeze it. And then I'm pulling it off. See, I pulled it out. And now it's right there. All right, with this little switch, it's pressed in right here. All I did was take a screwdriver, poke it in on this side, poke it in on this side, and kind of work it around, and then it popped out. And now we got our door skin off. Now this is a vapor barrier. Uh, I don't ever put these back because I live in Arizona, and I don't know how you'd put them back, except for gluing them on, like they're glued on. And I just can't seem to justify the mess. Now the window has fallen down, so we're going to try and get it to go back up first. Now this regulator is all busted and the window is stuck down, so I stuck my ratchet in there and because you have to take the window out. So I stuck my ratchet in here, there's a little 10 mil that right there, and then there's another one uh, that I can't get my camera in to look at, but it's in it's in here. I, got, I broke them loose and now I'm gonna stick my fingers in here and and get the two 10 mils out. Now the regulator is not working so I can't move the I can't move the window with the motor. So I just reached in there and I grabbed uh, grabbed the window. And then there's these two 10 mils right here. Uh, I already broke them loose. And now I'm gonna go ahead and spin them out so that we can take the window out.
lights out, we're free from the regulator. I'll push this window up. And I thought it was gonna be, sometimes the windows will come right out, but this one is not coming out because it's on a track all the way up. So what I'll do is I'll wedge something in here I'll wedge something in the windowsill to keep this from sliding down. Or you can use tape and tape the window. That's another option. I don't have any tape, so I'm not gonna do that. Now we're gonna go ahead and take out the window regulator. Got a bolt right here. Second bolt right here. So this one that I'm taking off right now, this is the top bolt for the window track. This one right here, this was one of the bolts for the window motor. And then you can't see it, so I'm gonna adjust you a little bit. Right here is the bottom bolt for the window track. look it looks like it actually comes out you don't have to unscrew it all the way uh, and then I'll take this and set that out there and then we now let's take out this other bolt for the went for the window regulator motor Oh, there's a third one. Ha. Look, I thought there was only two. There's actually three. Got this little plug right here. I'll push in with this plug right here, and then watch. I'll take my little screwdriver and I'll push up. Oh, and it looks like these little safety things right here might have to come out. Okay, so that's like a secondary clip. those over the tabs and then we'll push in on this okay so what I'm gonna do since this thing's a little bit stuck I'm gonna take my middle finger push on it like this, and I'm gonna work my screwdriver in here. So 
So now I kind of got that side up a little bit. Work my screwdriver in here a little bit. I don't have any WD with me, otherwise I'd use that right now. Oh, it doesn't want to come out. So, since this is going to be old, like this isn't going on the new one, I'll take this and well, I don't really know what I did right there, but it worked because I was just going <laughs> to, I was just going to break this. Okay. But it's all good. It worked out. Now we've got our new window regulator. Go ahead, put this guy in here. We're gonna do it in the exact opposite. We're gonna go ahead and plug our plug in first. And then we're gonna take this, feed that up in there. Just kind of worm it up in there. Okay, so now I'm going to line up my motor with the holes. There's one hole, there's two holes, and there's three holes. We'll start with this bottom one. Okay, got that one threaded in. Now we'll go ahead and thread in the second one. got all three of them threaded in. I'm going to go ahead and tighten them down. Now we've got the two bolts for the uh, <clears throat> the two bolts for the track. Now we're going to go ahead and lower our window down and put it, attach it onto the track.
Now we're going to go ahead and put the window back on the track. Snug them up a little bit, tight is tight enough on these guys. Now let's take our door panel. Now we're gonna go ahead and take our door panel back. We're gonna start by putting that little, this little clip right here in. I'm just gonna push it in. Nothing special. Now that's in. And then I'm going to take my little cable right here for the, for the door handle. I'm going to start by putting it into the door handle itself. And then I'm going to pull it back. Pull it back like like this, freak dude. Look, I start by slotting this ball into here, and then I pull this back, thread the wire through this little channel right here, and then push it in. I'm grabbing my my door lock and I'm slotting it through my door panel and then I'm gonna hook the door panel at the top here and right now I even got a hand holding on to the lock and the door panel is gonna go into the go into the top like that and then you've got all these little clips. Okay, that one's in. That one's in. And then we've got these two little bolts right here. I'm gonna go ahead and slot those in right now. I'm going to take my wood trim and I'll put this in here. And then we've got one more bolt right here. I'll go ahead and put this one in. Pull the door handle out a little bit. Take my little plastic door scooching, thread it up in there, and then push it in. And then don't forget about these little clips. So you will start by putting the bottom part in, and then we'll put the center in, and then the next one. There you go guys, I hope this video helped you. If it did, go ahead and like and subscribe if you haven't already. Go ahead and leave a comment down below if you have any more 
Any more questions? Keep an eye up the hill, guys.